Hello, welcome to Niger BBB. Of course, it is Harry Freshness of Dugo and you know, Maya Lit. We're here again and thank you for coming now. If you're not yet part of the Elite Squad, all you need to do is subscribe. And follow me on Instagram at HR Freshness. You know, and so today we're continuing with our non wood related episodes. I recently started doing something in the office that you know, you know, kind of exposed me to non wood and all its business. And I was kind of stunned because I wasn't such a huge fan before, but now you know, it, it, it's easier. I understand, I can relate more. Well, except for all the dramatics, you know, the overly dramatic things. But it's easier for me now. And I really would like to share this with you guys. So this is, you know, work that I did not with Kana of Niger BBB. So I, I hope to do it more frequently and I, I, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I promised in the last Nollywood Kana episode that I'm going to be taking someone on a date to go and see a Nollywood movie. So all you have to do is keep, come back, keep watching, and of course, comment, comment, comment and follow me on Instagram at HR Freshness. So on today's episode of Nollywood Corner of Niger BBB, we are talking the queens of the waterworks. Now we're talking about five actresses that made us want to cry, that made us, you know, shed tears for them, you know? So, ooh, I know, right? Okay, so we'll be back. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome back, guys. Okay, so that, there's some actresses that when they act crying roles or suffering roles that you know needs them to cry, we just go like, oh, this is not believable, you know. Someone like um, Chika Ike, when she cried for it, just go like, oh, okay, 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 she's crying, you know. But there's some that are actually very believable, like you know, a Bumabu. Then when someone like Toto Dike is crying, it's not just coming out from like, oh, they're just you know, they're just disgusted. So, but these five that I've picked, when they cry, you cry. When I cry, you cry. I cry all over you. Okay, I'm playing. <laughs> so, now I think I'm going to start from the first. The queen of the water works for me. Okay, I'm going to start from the fifth. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, so the fifth will be Nkiru Sylvanas. Now, we haven't seen her recently, you know, in the good scene we've not seen her at event obviously because she's now a government official so of course we're not seeing a lot of her but Nkiru Silvanus can cry for Africa hey that girl can cry lord have mercy now she actually got her first acting role because they were looking for a lookalike for Ngozi Ezono but gone are the days when nobody would actually pay attention to detail now they needed someone to play her daughter and she auditioned and they liked her and they took her so and then she cries just as bad as Ngozi Ezono because Ngozi Ezono can cry so Kiri Silvanus actually could be her on-screen daughter the lady cries for Africa Coming closely behind is Hilda Dokubo. Now Hilda Dokubo is here because I love the movies, I love her, she's my mama. I love Hilda Dokubo and she can cry. Now we all know that she stepped out of the scene for a while but she's back because I interviewed her at Afrif last year 2017 and you know she promised a lot of movies and of course we've seen her. So Hilda Dokubo probably you know from you know the earlier generations of Nollywood practitioners, you know, we call them veterans this day, she knows how to cry, you know, she, Ngozi Zonu, and, and like Liz Benson, you know, they were the queens of the water works of their day, so she's here to represent all of them, you know, the two people can cry for Africa. Mm. Okay, so these now are, you know, for the babies, you know, that came from before. Now, talking about ladies from now, have you seen Inedo cry? She's number three on my list. Inedo can cry and she has this she has this command of her facial features her eyes you know you know this this she, she just really squeezes her lips she's crying she's cleaning her nose and like oh my goodness i want to cry with you i want to cry with you you know she, she she brings out such passion in you when she's acting you know crying roles i love that and I, I want to see her act more you know this new hollywood guys 
we are giving them a run for their money so most of these ladies and men are forced to take uh, you know if, if they don't want to act older roles they are pushed to the side which i think they should just accept and just you know take on more mature roles and let the young people do younger people things you know so but that's a talk on another day so number two on my list is chacha eke oh my goodness i love chacha chacha is good you know her melanin is popping obviously and have you seen her kids good now chacha eke fanny cries i know when she cries you feel it you feel it in the depth of your soul you just want to reach out into the screen and help her you know, you just you just want to just go like, baby, don't cry anymore, baby, no, baby, no. And before you know, you're getting sad. So I guess she actually is doing her job well. Cha Cha Ike can cry. Oh, Cha Cha can cry. So and then number one on my list. Now you guys have to know that I have a huge girl crush on Mercy Johnson. So she's number one on my list. Mercy Johnson cries. She cries. Oh. When Mr. Justin cries, she cries. Like, you know, I feel sad remembering, you know, the emotions. The emotions she, she, she makes you feel. <sighs> she is the queen of what works for me. What do you guys think? Do you agree with my list? you think i missed out something let me know in the comment box let me know what you think about those ladies how good how great do you think are their crying roles tell me the movies you remember them acting in which they cried and you felt for them i'd like to know and of course i'd like to watch them because now it's my job so help me people tell me about the movie that should be watching no come in the comment box let me know guys i'd like to know and you know the last episode we talked about the three generations of nollywood men in all their sexiness you know so if you haven't watched it go and watch it and of course subscribe so that you can be part of the elite squad elite gang and of course let me know what you think tell me topics you'd like me to talk about on nollywood and of course every other thing it's not just nollywood guys that i do i do every other thing you know like jack of all trees stress on all i love you guys bye be safe be safe be safe bye